Anita Joseph unknowingly inserted herself in Ada Jesus saga. Come on in. The story is juicy. It is complicated. Come in. Let's dissect and analyze the story. Hello, oh, Gist lovers. Welcome back to my channel. I remain your girl, Octavia Cora. If you love Gist like this, trending Gist, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you'll be the first to be notified, okay? All right, so Anita Joseph inserted herself in a Dad Jesus saga unknowingly. Okay, for those of you that do not know who Anita Joseph is, Anita Joseph, she used to be a singer, and then she became an actress, and she's been in Hollywood for so long now. Okay, so let's just go straight into what we want to talk about today. All right, so Anita Joseph decided to wish Rita Edoche happy birthday. And she didn't just wish the lady happy birthday. She was calling her all sorts of names, giving her praises and all just so on and so forth in their language. That's the Igbo language. She was praising this lady and wishing the lady happy birthday and all of that. After she shared this post on Instagram, her followers started coming for her. People were attacking her. That Why is she uh, wishing that evil lady happy birthday? That nobody should be wishing that lady happy birthday or wishing her long life or anything. That has she forgiven the lady at that Jesus? And if you've been following this at that Jesus story, if you've not seen that video, check my channel. You will see the story of um, a young lady that insulted a pastor, a herbalist, a uh, marine spirit. She insulted everything, both dead and living and every, 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 every. You know, she said the pastor was doing fake um uh, miracles and she was part of the people that did uh, were bringing people for the fake miracle and she also accused this um, Rita Edoche lady she insulted the lady she said she swore and said that the lady will never see anything good now the other Jesus lady is ill they said she has kidney problem or it, it's kind of spiritual attack we do not know what it is so she decided to go and apologize to people that she has wronged, people that she has insulted, people that she has called names, and so on and so forth. She wants to make peace. So she apologized to so many people, they forgave her. And when she went to the church of this pastor, I actually call him the flying pastor. <laughs> I see him as an entertainer more than a pastor. <clears throat> That's my own opinion. All right, leave your own opinion in the comment section. All right, so as I was saying, she went to his church. His name is Odumeje. So when she went there, she apologized to him and Rita Edoche, the actress. But the both of them refused to forgive him and they started, forgive her, sorry. They started mocking her and telling her to stand up and walk because she cannot walk. She's paralyzed on one side of her body. She cannot move and stuff like that. She's really ill. They started mocking her. So a lot of people were upset. People came out and started, um, you know, calling the Rita Edoche, telling her that she should forgive the lady. What she did was not right. So she came out and did another video saying that she has forgiven um, the other Jesus that she, from the bottom of her heart. Now, in my own opinion, again, I do not think that forgiveness was from her heart. The way she spoke in church that day, that way she was mocking this lady, telling her, stand up now. Stand up now and walk. Let us see. You were calling me names. You were insulting me and my pastor. If you don't like my pastor, I love my pastor. Don't insult us. Now stand up and walk. Let us see. And she said a whole lot of things in her language. That if you don't understand her language, you won't understand. But a whole lot of things that you can see. That this is not right. As a mother, she shouldn't have said those things. Even if she doesn't want to forgive the lady, she should have just said, I'm not going to do this. I'm going home, okay? I'm not going to forgive you. I'm going home. She shouldn't have just mocked the lady that is ill, laying down on the floor there, helpless. So a lot of people were upset. So they called and pleaded with her to forgive the lady. I think out of so many calls and text messages, she just got like, ah, I'm tired, okay? For people to stop calling me, I will just say I have forgiven her. That is what I think. I don't think that forgiveness was from that lady's heart. But that being said, now a lot of people that are angry at Anita Joseph, my question to you is, why are you upset that Anita Joseph is... <laughs> so I'm just saying, why are you upset at Anita Joseph? She's her own person. She's allowed to do what she wants to do. She never told you that she was upset at what Rita Edoche did. Anyway, another question I have to ask is, if this Adagisos lady was not ill now, would she have gone to apologize to the million people that she offended? Now, a lot of people are out there that do think something or one or two things about this pastor or so many people in that country. They don't speak out. A wise person knows when to speak. and A wise person knows when to keep quiet. When you go to the forest and you go and bring wood, ant-infested woods, you should be ready for the lizards that will be dancing 
in your home. So this lady won't have apologized. She's a very rude lady. So if people don't forgive her, people feel some type of way, don't judge them. Do you, okay?